and welcome to another studio vlog. This is the post Black Friday sale vlog. So I have a lot of orders and thank you so much if you placed an order. I'm so grateful for all of the support and for you guys keeping me busy. I feel like my hair is really like frizzy today and I, it seems to happen when I don't style it when it's wet. So like normally I'll like blow dry it and straighten it or curl it, but I didn't do anything and now it's just gone like really Blech. But anyway, Tom has made me an app, which I also used last year, that sort of quickly generates the freebies that each order needs and does me like a running total. So we generated that yesterday to see how many I was at at that point. And I printed and cut that many. And then today I'm going to do it again now that the sale's finished and print and cut the extras that I didn't make yesterday. So this is what I've done so far. These are the mini kits, standard vertical kits, half sheets and glitter headers at the bottom. So those are the, like the higher freebies. And then I've done my daily freebies. I've done almost all of them. I think I just need a few extra of uh, the washi sheets, which is this one. So I've just been counting up those and I'm gonna print the difference. And then I also need to print and cut the Cyber Monday mystery. So that is also a job for today. And hopefully I will get the premium matte upgrades done. I always like procrastinate doing them, but I'm gonna try and do them before I started orders because I've decided this time orders are gonna have to go in batches. There's just too many to try and do them all in one go. So I'm gonna just, just work through what I've gotta do and then hopefully start packing orders probably tomorrow. But yeah, let's see where we get to today. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm actually not surprised. Um, this company does this to me all the time, but my postcards are miscut. If you can see there's like a little white slither down this side and it has affected like probably like three quarters of them. I've pulled out a few that are unaffected and I have used a couple already because I'm like prepping freebie bags, but it's really annoying and I've had to complain. <laughs> I'm hoping that they'll send me fixed ones like in the next few days. Um, I'm gonna just like hold them back and stop putting them in bags so that I can use them as I need them as I pack. But it's just really annoying. And I had written this company off, it's instant print, um, because they do this to me all the time. And I had like my last straw with them, I think it was last year. And then I started to use Moo and Moo just have like a long processing time. So I went back to instant print. I can't remember what for, it was one of the mysteries and I left it a bit late. Um, and they were fine, they were perfect. So I was like, okay, maybe maybe they've like upped their game. So I used them for this and they're oops again. So I've learnt my lesson. I'll be going back to Moo, but I've complained and hopefully they will sort it out, but it's just so frustrating, like, cause I need them now. But I don't think it will delay anything too much. Cause like I said, like I'll conserve the ones I've got. And then by the time the new ones come, I'll probably like be ready to use them then. But yeah, that is where we're at. So they've just replied to me and in my email I said 
Well, I meant that three quarters of all of the cards are affected and I sent my picture. You can clearly see like there's loads of them. Um, and in their reply, uh, they've said, you've advised that four cards have been affected. I meant three quarters, which is like probably like 200 cards. So whoops. But yeah, I'm not just complaining over four cards. That's made me laugh. But yeah, um, it seems like they're going to fix it. you are well overdue an update. It is now Thursday. Um, I had my post Black Friday panic, which was always gonna happen. Like I knew it was gonna happen, but basically I'm over that now, so I'm fine. <laughs> I always get like a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of orders and it like hits me in one go. It took me a bit longer than I expected to cut all the freebies and the mystery and everything. And the premium mat, I think that was what threw me off schedule because I don't normally cut it before I pack orders. Um, but I finished cutting everything yesterday. So I had to cut for Tuesday and Wednesday. I thought it would just be one day. Um, and then started to pack orders last night. So I've made a start on orders. I've been doing some of the international ones and then I'm going to work through by country because that's just easier for me. I do them chronologically by country, which is just how the invoices print, so that's how I do them. I think I need to be a bit realistic with myself because I try and get the orders out as quickly as possible, but this is like the most orders I've ever had, so it's not going to be the same as last year. But it, and they're still going to be out within the two weeks, so... I, I'm technically fine, but you know, like you set like little milestones for yourself. Um, I don't think I was realistic with mine. Anyway, we're gonna get back into packing orders today. I'm gonna show you how I have things set up because this is kind of how it makes the most sense for me to process such a large amount of orders. I will probably just blur like most of this, but I do have all the mysteries stacked up here in like paper type and size so it's easy for me to just grab them as I need them and then my packing desk is all a bit subject to change because I kind of move things as I notice like a more efficient way but in this cart I've got my tiered freebies pre-packaged so I've got my 50, 75 and then 100 at the back so I can quickly grab these and this is a full set of freebies up until that amount so it just makes it a lot quicker. I've got my goodie bags behind so these are, there's most of them are still there, I haven't packed many goodie bag orders yet. I've got my all orders freebie and my all orders postcard. They are replacing these, they're going to come tomorrow, but I have enough for now, I think. Um, I've got my tape dispensers. This is my new branding tape! I'll show you that in a second. I've got my daily freebies and it goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so I know that they go in this direction. And then these are just under here for now. This is the £25 freebie, because it wasn't worth putting it in a cello bag and like pre-packaging them like I have the other amounts. So these are just under here, mostly because they were here, but I was a bit worried about getting them wet with the water dispenser, so I've moved them to be there. Washi is here like I showed you, got a little candle on the top. This one is fluffy towels, and it's actually like an oops candle. I don't know if oops candles are a thing, but the lid is a little bit broken, so it doesn't actually go on properly, because... I bought them in a bundle for presents, but I'm just going to keep this one because it doesn't really close. So moving round, I've got all my stock like normal, and then this is a random desk. Let me just move these labels. So I did have a load of labels here with names on, but I've just moved those for the purposes of the video and like privacy and stuff. So I've got my um, notepads stacked up here. They won't stay here. This is just for like ease of grabbing them while I pack orders. Because I sold loads of notepads. I'm really happy about that. So thank you if you bought a notepad. I'm so happy like how well these have gone down because they were such a last minute idea. 
And then these are more postcards. I think these might be Oops ones. Yeah, these are Oops ones. Um, and I did find a small stack of non-Oops ones, so, well, I don't know if they're Oops, I need to check them. But if they're not Oops, that's good. I was using them to separate bags. <laughs> But yeah, I've got my oops and grab bags sort of set out here into categories, rough categories. Um, these are mostly oops bags with some text header bags here and then glitter add-on at the back. These are Lucky Dip mini kits, yeah. And then just some more mini kits. We've got premium matte oops bags, removable matte grab bags, uh, Lucky Dips standard vertical kits. Um, and then add-on boxes as well. So these are like the Fashion Girl add-on boxes. So everything is a little bit more accessible than usual because there's just so many products. Yeah, this should make packaging a lot quicker. And then what I have been doing is processing the postage on each order as I pack it rather than doing it in bulk at the end because then I can like make a note of how much the postage cost me compared to what the buyer paid and I know like what I need to refund. So I've been doing that this time, which makes it a little bit slower, but it will be better because then at the end I won't have to go and figure it out, it will already be written down for me, I just need to put it into Shopify and do the refunds. So that is the plan. Let me show you the branding tape and stickers really quickly because I'm so happy with these. I don't know how much I've already shown you because I've sort of sneaked a little bit on Instagram. So when I got my new branding from Becca, I got like some new branding colours and we went for like a different vibe and I wanted to update the tape because I was running out anyway and get some stickers to put on packages that are a little bit more exciting than just my logo. So we went for these like fun, playful shapes and quotes for the stickers. I've got four different ones. So these are some of the options that you might get. You've got there's a sticker for that, let the planning begin, new stickers, new me, and you're the best. And these will just be like on packages as like fun branding. And I've also got a foiled one, and this one just says it's your new stuff. So I thought they were really cute. I hope they were in focus. I think I was a bit close to the camera. Um, but if not, here they are again. So I got the stickers and then the tape. The tape like also features the shapes. It's got my website, little happy mail quote, my handle and my logo. And it's just like really fun and playful and doesn't really matter which direction it goes because it's all like rotated and stuff. But yeah, I just think it's really cute and I wanted to like debut my new packaging on Black Friday. But Becca of Club Gemini helped me with it all. She did the graphic designing and like, she did most of it to be fair. I just told her what I wanted and she put together like the files for the manufacturer and stuff. So she was just a joy to work with as usual. But yeah, um, I'm so excited to share it with you because I think it's gonna make my packages just a little bit more exciting and it will just feel like a bit more special arriving to you in the post. So basically the task for like the next week, m maybe not that long, but at least a few days is to just keep packing the orders and hopefully get them done by I don't know I have no idea I can't even estimate but I don't think I'm gonna upload this video until they're gone so that I don't have to like take time away from orders to edit it so this will maybe be like a whole Black Friday video just doing the orders but I'll try and get some footage I'm gonna move my mount to this desk so that I can film a bit more easily um, do like some bird's eye view shots and stuff but yeah let's stop talking about it and actually do it packaging for like washi separately and album separately but when they are together that's when it's like like a game of tetris so i'm gonna try the album flat and then potentially stickers flat at the bottom and then the large albums on top whilst also not showing you the heat mystery kit so i'm gonna have to fold the albums but that's fine yeah, I think that will fit. And then washi just like in the middle. We need to like open it up and put the washi inside <laughs> and then put the shredded paper and stuff inside somewhere. Ooh. It's quite a big gap to fill, so that might be enough. 
and then I'm just gonna put the goodie bag on top. Should I talk through packing an order? That might be interesting. So we have the All Aboard mini kit, wherever that may be. All Aboard mini kit, Bad Romance mini kit, Blast Off mini kit, uh, Bright One Page kit, Cheers One Page kit, Craft Room mini kit, Fright Night mini kit. So I basically just like say it in my head. Um, I wouldn't normally say this out loud, I'm saying it for your benefit, not mine. <laughs> Uh, work from home at 09. So I look at the SKU when it's something like that. So I know my scripts over here. I'm looking for nine. There we go. And Halloween washi tape. I know that's the black one. My washi tape isn't really named in like the most helpful way. Um, I know which ones they are, but it's only because there's like not that many. Um, and this one doesn't need to be combined or anything. So I can just package it as it is. And I think I can get it in a A5 box because of the washi tape. Stickers in first, and then hopefully washi tape. And then the hardest part is getting all the shredded paper to stay inside the box. And then these boxes are good because they have the little tabs, so that kind of stops this from pinging open when I try and put the tape on it. So that is that order done. I'm gonna process the postage. And there we have it. my first batch of orders they're probably gonna go out tomorrow um, I did basically all the international ones um, they were just like the most difficult to work out the postage refunds on because like in the UK I kind of have memorized like the different postage tiers and the prices so I know exactly what people need refunded but with like international shipping there's like four bands there's Europe world zone one zone two and zone three and i have to have the table up so that i can look at what the actual postage price is and then i know the difference to refund so the postage calculations for international are a little bit fussier so i just wanted to do them first this is one mail sack and this is ugh, this is the other mail sack and then i have a separate sack for the traction signed ones because they can't go in the same as the standard ones i have printed the invoices for my uk ones this is my stack, it is pretty big. Um, I don't think I've ever had <laughs> this many orders. There are quite a lot of combined orders, so it's not as many as it looks, but there's still a lot. <laughs> I've got like piles of boxes everywhere because Tom came down and helped assemble some for me. Um, I'm really slow if I have to do it while I pack. So that's like another tip, try and prep the packaging first. Like just build the boxes when you've got like a spare minute. Cause I didn't do that and I had to rope Tom in. <laughs> But yeah, boxes are everywhere. I've got like piles of random things, but yeah, we're making good progress. I'm gonna go and process my international refunds um, and get them out of the way, and then I'll move on to UK orders.
more fun to talk through the orders. I don't know if you guys would prefer to like have music. Um, but I'm packing a five order invoice now. So this is probably gonna be a big one. We've got the barista, min barista mini kit, craft room mini kit, a four floral notepad, which is in my drawers, I think. Where are they? Oh, I moved them. It is this monthly pad. I think I only have about four of these left. The Cobalt Reusable Sticker Album. This is actually my favourite sticker album. This is the one that I use personally. I have this I have this pattern and a, another one that I don't really use anymore. Um, and then the Rose Gold Autumn Washi Tape, which is this one. This is definitely one of my favourites as well, like the pumpkins and the leaves and stuff. So invoice number two. Three glitter header grab bags and seven oops bags. So one, two, three glitter header and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oops. Invoice three is three lucky dip vertical kits and two premium matte oops bags. My voice went really weird then. So the premium my oops and then the vertical kits. I'm just gonna put their lucky dips hidden in case they watch this video and recognize their order. Um, craft room exclusive kit, the new notepad, the A5 one, the pink Christmas washi tape and the winter one, these two. This one has been so popular, the blue one. And then finally the Cyber Monday mystery, which I'm obviously not gonna show and a one page Wednesday well, one page kit for cheers, which I will put in this cello. I can show you this page because there's no information on it. So the buyer needs all of the tier trees up to a hundred, which is this little pre-prepared bag, um, a goodie bag. And then they get all of the daily freebies. There we go. So now, I need to figure out what kind of box this goes in. I think a parcel box. So yeah, I think if I just fill the rest with the shredded paper, we'll be fine. This is such a chunky order. I can't wait to see how much this weighs. So I'm hoping this all fits in this box. There are, so there's an A5 notepad, four A6 notepads. I've got um, two large albums, which I hope will fit flat. No, so I'm gonna have to fold these. These can go here. Put them inside little witch that will keep them from moving around. Oh, and also some dividers. So this is pretty much what I've done today. The laundry basket is about to break, I think, if I put any more in it. I'm definitely close to being done. I think I've got about 40 left to pack. officially done all of the orders I'm so happy um, I hope you can't see anything through these but these were all of my labels I think there's like two more sheets over there as well so I just had to do some more postage labels I haven't done these as I go for some reason I think because they weren't combined and yeah everything can go back to normal in a minute I can like tidy this up and stuff these are the grab bags that I have left. I try not to list all of the lucky dips, like I try and leave a few behind so that I don't have to give people duplicates, like if they all sold out. There's a few vinyl ones left. Some grab bags. These are my notebooks. I ended up with quite a lot of kind of what I would call B grade ones. Like these are all not perfect. Um, like this one has kind of a fault in the corner. Quite a few of them are just glued wrong. Like can you see there's like a lip? Um, where it's just a bit wonky. I think it's just messy at the top. And then most of these are just a bit funny. So I think I'll list them as B grade because like they still work and there's still plenty of sheets on them, but they're just not quite perfect. And then this is just a mess. There's two orders under here that I need to print something for. For I need to make an album and some tab labels. For some reason I just oversold. So I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, 
we are pretty much done. So all of the orders are done. We've got small parcels, letters, and then these two are large letter. We're gonna drop them off at the post office in a bit. I always got the groomers, so we're gonna take them to the groomers and then go to the post office afterwards. I can't quite believe that they are all done. It looks like Black Friday never happened. So we have sent off all of the Black Friday orders. I can't believe they're gone. Um, it's been a really busy week, literally just packing orders from about Wednesday onwards. Um, but I'm really glad they're gone. But thank you so much if you placed an order. I did not expect to be this busy this Black Friday. So I'm really grateful for your support as always. I'm gonna end this video here, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my post Black Friday week and watching me get the orders done and seeing a bit of my process for that behind the scenes. If you've got an order on its way from me, I really hope you enjoy it and I would love to see a haul on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Just tag me when it arrives and I would love to see what you think of everything. Again, thank you for watching and I'm gonna go and start next week's vlog now because it is Monday. So yeah, I'll see you next week for another studio vlog. Bye.